Did you hear about the sweep in the Winter Olympics? No, I haven't. Well, the sweep is a third for the U.S., uh, joining men's figure skating in 1956 and men's half pipe snowboarding in 2002. Congratulations to Culinary Arts. They advanced to the state competition to be held March 7th and 8th in Waco, Texas. Also, congratulations to the Lady Eagles basketball team. They made it to the playoffs this year. And the new Caney first ever Invitational UIL tournament will be held next weekend. Good luck to all of the participants. Welcome to Eagle Vision. I'm Michael Epinet, here to interview some of the band members of School of Rock. Let's go. The School of Rock is an after-school club where students can explore their musical talents through a school-operated band. School of Rock is an opportunity for students who play instruments to broaden their horizons before they leave high school. Um, we basically what I try to do is teach the kids how to play together as a band. So beyond, um, you know, playing by themselves, I try to give them, you know, pointers, tips and pointers on how to play well with others. Well, for me, um, I haven't had a lot of experience uh, with other bands and playing guitar in it. So this has provided me an opportunity to unleash my talents. School of Rock is not your traditional type of band. We all try out for pieces of songs by auditioning for them using modern instruments like electric guitar, keyboard, bass guitar. Just, it's, it's radical. It's pretty radical. I provide the equipment. So there I have, I have an acoustic guitar, two electrics, I have a bass, um, I have, uh, I have an amp, a cabinet, uh, I have all the, the speakers for the PA system, which is here, and uh, I provide uh, the drum set, the, the mic, and, and beyond that, I give the kids ideas on what to play. Um, so, uh, songs that I think will help them make them better musicians, but also um, songs that I think will give them skills. Um, playing with others in a band. So, um, so that's... School of Rock's every B-Day in Mr. Cornett's room. Anyone is free to come and try out or join. And we've yet to announce an actual concert date. More of Eagle Vision after this. Boys lawsuits awarded millions towards football players has attracted attention towards sports injuries. I played an entire game with a broken neck that I didn't even know of. Many live and breathe sports, but some pay the price. This particular player goes up for a layup, comes down on his leg, and as he came down, he immediately just fell. He crumbled, and I knew it was something serious. I fractured my ankle and torn all the ligaments in it, and now since then. I've, I've just been rehabbing it and just watching my team go on without me and watching them practice just sucks because once you build a relationship and a family with them, it sucks not being able to be there for your brother. But, you know, a part of it, I guess, you know, when you, when you do the sports and you, uh, you know, it's, it's a risk that, that a lot of us end up with, you know, injuries and whatnot. I was fortunate enough to not have any major injuries. When I had broken my neck for the first time, I thought maybe, you know, it'd be all right for me to go back into sports and start playing football again. The proposed agreement, which was hashed out during court-ordered mediation and announced Thursday, includes $675 million to a compensation fund, $75 million for medical exams, and $10 million for a research and education fund. The doctor said that I'm very lucky for where it broke and that I should be really careful so I 
I had made the decision to stop playing sports. As a parent, it's very hard to see your child get hurt. You gotta determine how serious the injury is and if they're gonna be okay, first off, to, to come back into the game. And if not, the seriousness of the injury, if it takes them out of the game, my word becomes uh, how will it affect them in the long term. So. It's very nerve wracking when your child is under anesthesia and is in surgery and having to wait for that. It's just, it was tough watching my kid go through it. I had been a running back and a wide receiver for years and I, I used to be the fastest kid in my hometown. Um, the record there was for a 100 meter dash was at 10-3 and I ran 10-7. Um, all the time that I would put into it, I felt like it was for nothing. But then um, the doctor said I could still, you know, march band and stuff. And um, so I, I continued marching. I went into theater and I found out that I'm pretty good at it. I mean, that's all I had to replace the sports time that I had given up. National Football League has agreed to pay $765 million to settle thousands of player lawsuits over head injuries, a deal that both sides declared a win for retired athletes with debilitating brain damage. Those injuries can haunt you for as long as you live, and you're always going to feel uh, weather changes, your knee's going to hurt, or, or uh, you know, my other son broke his foot several years back, he still has pain in his foot, so, you know, it's... Just take care of yourself. That's, that's what I would tell my students. My advice for athletes is to make sure that you are working out the correct way. Make sure you're doing your lifts the correct way. Um, make sure that you don't start out too quick when you come back from an injury. Do what your physical therapist tell you to do. For the Lookout Sports Stories, I'm Sarah Lara.